Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this short video, uh, another video in a series of videos dealing with hypothesis testing, uh, we're going to concentrate on a question that I'm always asked okay, in support sessions. Yeah, okay, is how the hell do we define the actual hypothesis? Yeah, and what is a hypothesis? I mean, there's been lots of things that that people read about putting the status quo as the null and the thing that you want to test. Actually, the thing that you want to test as the alternative. Uh, look, I just really want to try to present a an argument in relation to how to define a hypothesis. Some of them things are correct, and some of them are actually uh, can actually be incorrect. And it depends on the scenario. It depends on what you're actually trying to test. Okay, but let's just maybe let's assume that we understand the broad concepts of actually what a hypothesis test is. If you don't, maybe have a look at the previous video or one of my earlier videos in relation to the logic behind hypothesis testing. In this case, we're just looking at the null and the alternative positions. Yeah, so we're looking at the null, the null hypothesis. Okay, and we're going to be concentrating on the alternative, the alternative hypothesis. Okay. And effectively, there's three ways that this. There's, there's three types of tests that can be done. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to label these as H0 and HJ. Okay. That'll be the first test. And uh, we're going to have H0 and HJ. That's the second test. And then at the third, let's say, variant of the test, H0 and HJ will be listed here. Okay. And what I want to do is I just want to set this up. It's a single sample test. We want to test whether there's evidence to suggest that a single sample that's been selected okay, from a population, whether there's evidence to suggest that the population value is a that the population takes on a specific value or is less than the value or is greater than the value. Okay? So we really want to test the alternative hypothesis okay, is always the question that we're looking to see whether there's evidence to support, if that makes sense. So it's something about the population parameter so I'm going to assume the population parameter there's a statement about the population parameter and I'll just say that this question here is asking is there evidence to suggest that the population parameter the population average is less than a specific value is there evidence to suggest that the population parameter is greater than a specific value and then the third possibility is is there evidence to suggest that the population uh, parameter the mean the average is different to a specific value Okay, so there are the three tests that we can do. Okay, and there's three questions that are being asked here. Okay, uh, in this one is it's always the alternative because we assume the null to be true. Okay, we assume the null position to be true, and it's only based off the evidence. Okay, the evidence allows us to move from H zero to H A. Okay, so evidence, the evidence, okay, allows us to move to move. Uh, from H0, what we assume to be true, uh, to an alternative. If the evidence doesn't allow us to move, well then there's no evidence in support of the alternative. That doesn't make the null to be true, it just means there's no evidence in, in, support, in support of the alternative position. Okay? So what we always want to try to prove needs always to be the alternative. I hear this statement all the time that, okay, maybe you put the status quo in as the null. Okay. But it depends. Are we trying to find, we find whether there's evidence to support the status quo? Or are we trying to find evidence whether to, uh, 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 find out whether there's evidence to refute the status quo? So this can actually be quite tricky. Okay? But either way, when it, comes to, when it comes to a hypothesis, there's a null and an alternative position. Okay? And the most important thing is, from a continuum perspective, a continuum, 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 uh, from the continuum uh, perspective, yeah, okay, uh, the the null and the alternative, yeah, need to cover the whole continuum. So really, what we're saying here is this: in this case here, is that the is that the the population parameter is less than the value. Now this is an open interval; is less than the value, which means that it could be somewhere in here. This is a. So that means that the the null must consider all values yet yeah, that are greater than or equal to a. Okay, so the null position so h h zero is going to be over here and h a is going to be over here. So mu must be greater than or equal to a. The reason why we have equality in the null position is because we need to position the the test statistic is always going to calculate how far the evidence is away. The evidence is away from the hypothesized position okay from the from the hypothesized hypothesized okay uh, position so we need to position the null distribution at a particular point 
Now, if I say that the null is greater than a specific value, okay, well then it could be closer and closer and closer to this value, okay, uh, but not actually take on.